This is an interactive video, which means that at times you will need to pause it and discuss with a partner. Make sure you have a partner nearby, and if you don't have one, pause it now and find one. Hi, I'm Herman. My friends and I are here to teach you a little bit about fractions. This is Zeus. Sometimes Zeus will pop in to repeat important things I've said. Watch for him. Hello. Zeus's sister Zoe is going to zoom in with important things to help you practice what you're learning. First, let's learn the parts of the fraction. The number on the top is the numerator. Repeat after me, everyone. The number on top is the numerator. The numerator tells how many parts there are. The number on the bottom is the denominator. Repeat after me, everyone. The number on the bottom is the denominator. The denominator tells how many parts there are in the whole. One of the times we use fractions is when we split things into parts smaller than one. A fraction is a part of a whole. Any ideas for things in real life we could split into parts? Pizza! Zeus, pizza is a great meal that Earthlings love. But I feel like that's been done before. Now you're just making them hungry. Also, stop eating the props. I have an idea. Check out this cool trick I can do. Ah! I'm a purple alien, so I can do this. Don't try this at home, kids. I just split myself into a number less than one. How many parts do you see? Pause the video to see what fraction you see me split into. I am split into two equal parts. Each side is one of the two equal parts. You're split in halves. <sighs> I'm back to normal now. Watch what I can do to Venus, the hottest planet in the solar system. and discuss with the partner. See if you can figure this out. Venus is now split into four equal parts. Each part is one out of four, or one-fourth. We call those fourths. All better. I'm whole I'm again. again. How many fourths did it take to make a hole? Random picture break. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. Since a fraction is a part of a whole, we can use fractions to divide things like bigger numbers into equal parts. Fun fact! The line in the middle of the numerator and the denominator is actually telling you to divide. Wow! We like to send scouting missions to check on planets. For this mission, there are eight spacecrafts. If we send one-fourth of the spacecraft to each planet, how many will go to each one? One out of every four. What is one-fourth of the eight spacecrafts you see here? 
Hold your answer up in the air on your fingers. There are two spacecraft scouting each planet. That means two is one fourth of eight. What if two of the aliens go on their lunch break, but we still want equal coverage on each planet? Impossible, you say? You doubt my abilities. Watch this. How can it be done? How can we have the same amount of coverage on all of the planets? What is in each one out of the four equal parts? If I know there are four parts to make the whole, and I need to spread the parts out equally, what happens? Pause the video and discuss it with a partner. With my amazing laser abilities, we can have one and a half spacecrafts at each planet. Random picture break. Back to our regularly scheduled programming. See if you can find some important fractions called unit fractions on the number line. A unit fraction has a numerator of one. There is only one part of the whole. Get your finger ready and point to the spot on the number line that you think the unit fraction belongs. Remember, this is one part out of two. It's split into two equal parts. This fraction is the first part. Get your finger ready again so you can point to the spot on the number line that you think the unit fraction belongs. Remember, this is one part out of three. It's split into three equal parts. This fraction is the first part we see on the number line. Get your finger ready again so you can point to the spot on the number line that you think the unit fraction belongs. Remember, this is one part out of four. It's split into four equal parts. This fraction is the first part on the number line. Get your finger ready again so you can point to the spot on the number line that you think the unit fraction belongs. What fraction is this picture showing? Find it on the number line. It's split into six equal parts. This fraction is the first part we see on the number line. Get your finger ready for the last unit fraction we'll learn about today. What fraction is this picture showing? Find it on the number line. It's split into eight equal parts. This fraction is the first part. Do you think you could put those unit fractions in order from smallest to largest? Remember, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the unit fraction will be, since it's more pieces that I blasted it into. Here are all of the fractions you need to put in order. One half, one third, one fourth, one sixth, one eighth. Now pause the video and discuss with the partner how you can put them in order on the number line. Here are all of the unit fractions we put in order. One eighth, one sixth, one fourth, one third, one half. Look at the number line to see where they're placed. Now pause the video and discuss with your partner why the denominator on the smaller fractions is a larger number than the denominator on the bigger unit fractions. Now 
let's review some of the key details that we learned. Remember, the number on top is the numerator and it tells how many parts there are. The number on the bottom is the denominator and it tells how many parts are in the whole. A fraction is a part of a whole and we can use fractions to split things into equal parts, even if they're less than one. The line in the middle of the numerator and the denominator tells you to divide. The unit fractions we learned are one half, one third, one fourth, one sixth, and one eighth. Keep learning with fractions and show off your out of this world math skills. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher 2. Teachers, please check the description for linked products and don't forget to like and subscribe. Created using Powtoon.